This is Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search from my site. This message is for Awilda. Awilda. The word wild is in the middle of that name. You put an A on the front of it and an A on the end of it. Now in Spanish, that would indicate a female. And the internet traces Awilda, which was an uncommon, unfamiliar name to me until this event. Um, traces to a, a female, a famous, uh, historic, maybe fictional, female pirate. So, Awilda, I will address you as though that's your name and you are female. You know, you could be male and you could have chosen this name and uh, a fraudulent ID. Uh, however, you are registered with a bank. Uh, that is regulated by the United States federal government and uh, your name is on that bank record. So either one of two things is true. Your name is Awilda or you are fraudulently uh, claiming you're someone else and somehow the banks near you have let you get away with that. I, I, can't, I, I can't quite understand the name Awilda and how you've done that, I kind of think it's not on your birth certificate. But either way, the bank knows who you are. And you have made a fraudulent claim against my company. My company is Prefix. My partner is Lakshmi Khan Surash Kumar. I am Tom Duty. Visit to the Arizona Corporation Commission in Arizona. We'll find our business license and our names listed exactly the way they are on our birth certificates. There's a third man on there. His name's Rockish. He's relevant in the situation, but not in the conversation. He is a partner in this, a tree of one of the trio of partners in this business of prefix. though he is not part of this conversation. Lakshmi Kant is because he got back to me this morning and he verified what I suspected to be true is that we have made a valid sale to Awilda who is now claiming it was bogus. So here's the counterclaim. Haven't made it formally yet, but I will. I will attach the email, the voice recording and the chat to an email and send it in, in a counter uh, claim to this PayPal dispute. <coughs> then in the text, I will open as I think I've done before and I think it is a pattern. With this text, I am claiming Awilda has made a fraudulent claim. Now, Awilda, this is what I want you to know. Consider the accusation I'm making against you. You have made a fraudulent claim. Now, also consider this. You know, I could claim anything about you. I could claim your name's not Awilda, but I don't have evidence of that. The bank maybe does. Your local bank, if you, fraud, if you fraudulently claimed your identity to the bank, they, they can find out. They can send police out to your house and find out who you are. They can, they can freeze your account until you come in and identify yourself. They can do a lot of things I can't, okay? So I can't substantiate the claim that your name is or is not Awilda. I suspect it's not. However, I can substantiate the claim that my claim that your dispute against Prefix, a company I own in partnership with two others, I can substantiate this claim with evidence that you have made a fraudulent claim. So, Awilda, please know this. What you've done is criminal. What you've done uses the United States banking system, and what you've done can be proven. Because I have records that you've committed a crime. So think about this, Awilda, and think about it hard. 
I know nothing about you other than you claim your name is Awilda. And I also know you've committed a crime. There is a person behind this identity, and that person has committed a crime. Either one crime, that person's name is truly Awilda, and that person has not fraudulently identified herself to the bank, and that person has made a claim against Prefix, that person has committed one crime. Now, that person behind this identity may have a fraudulent identity, which I suspect is true, and has fraudulently identified him or herself to the bank. That's one crime, and that's a very serious crime. And even though this is a small amount of money, I, I don't know, I think about $300, uh, the claim to your bank, which is now registered in my bank, is a second crime. I can't substantiate the first one. I can substantiate the second one. So I will to take this to heart. You have committed at least one crime. I have evidence that you have committed that crime. I will pursue and make a counterclaim as I do routinely. It's not a big deal for me anymore. I have the email address of the claims department at my bank. I send the attachments that come to me from my business partners. And I also write a couple of words. As I will say, it begins with this text. I am making a counterclaim against Awilda. She has committed a fraudulent claim against my company. And I have evidence to prove it. The evidence is attached. Okay, that's how it works. I will to take some serious thought to what you've done because you could forget about this thing. The bank reports it to the authorities as they do with every claim. And you're getting off a plane someday. You've completely forgotten about this moment. And it's a small amount of money and you're going to lose. I think you might win, which will piss me off. If you win, I, I report you to the authorities myself. If you lose, I might. But either way, you have already gone on record with the banking system to show that you've committed a crime. And I'm going, to I'm going to provide the evidence to show that you've committed a crime. So whether I report this or not, whether you win or lose, they're just conditionals that, that don't matter. You've already gone on record to show that you've committed a crime. So a decade, a decade and a half, two decades from now, if you live that long, and if you're traveling, you can get off a plane and what do you know? You're greeted by federal authorities and you're arrested. Now, this is not a sensational, crazy idea. <laughs> Government of the United States is very serious about banking fraud. Very serious about enforcing the banking system. And you have used it. You have used it fraudulently. I am using it legitimately. Again, my name is on that business license. So is Lakshmi Khan. So is Rakshash. All three of us, the names are traceable to our birth certificates. I, my name is on the banking record. My name is on all my blog. I identify, identify myself accurately. I use Tom instead of Thomas. That's, that's a, a, the only difference. It's a, no indication of deception. That's just a reality of the shortened version of my legal name that's on my birth certificate. So Tom Duty or Thomas Duty, whatever you want to call me, I am legitimate in the way that I'm doing business. My company is legitimate in the way we are doing business, and you are fraudulent in this claim that you've made. I'm not giving you advice. I'm telling you what you've done. In addition to being a white-collar criminal, which is what you qualify as with this claim, you are also a petty white-collar criminal, which is what you have declared yourself with this claim. And in addition to that, I will to, you're a dumb criminal, an absolutely foolish criminal. Dumb's a little harsh, a little insulting. If I were to be challenged on that word, I would rescind that word and maybe even apologize if it was appropriate. So I don't want to call you dumb. You might be really intelligent, but you've done something foolish. This white-collar crime that you've committed is foolish. And Awilda, the images of the legendary female pirate, was probably not as foolish as you are. Awilda, best to you. I know where you are. I'm not going to say it in this video. Best to you wherever you are. I don't wish bad things against you. I just want to win this 
uh, claim, I don't want to be taken advantage of. I want the people who provided this work to be able to properly compensate it. And I want to do my effort to see that me and my company, my partners and our employees are not a victim of a crime, a crime that you've already committed. You can't uncommit this crime, by the way, I will. That you cannot uncommit this crime. You have already committed the crime. Bad choice. This has been Tom Duty. Middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search from my site. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, good evening, or restful night's sleep. Ciao and ciao, Awilda. Thank you for listening.